It's been an incredible tournament, an incredible last few weeks for moments. I'm not sure in English football history there's been a series of games in a tournament that have been so defined by incredible goals and moments. Where's it come from? Um, it's, hard to, it's hard to put it onto one thing, really. I think the main thing is, is the belief. I think if you look back at our first knockout game, Jude scores the overhead kick, last throw, Carl Walker. You've got to have that belief to, to throw the ball in the box. Jude's got to have the belief to, to push his man away and then give him, get himself free, score the goal. Got to have the belief in the group that we can score in our minds. Um, just so many things that have to go your way. Uh, we've obviously been one down in every knockout game so far. And that's why I say the word belief, because it's, we've still believed that we could win all of them games. And obviously we have, which is a massive factor. What have the team found that needs to be replicated against Spain? I think we're dominating the ball much better, um, passing the ball around much more, creating more chances, looking more fluid. Obviously Spain are going to be a tough test. Um, we obviously know what, what they bring, but obviously we know what we bring as well um, on an individual level and a team level. So um, it's poised to be a great final. For a lot of this team and the manager, what motivation is Euro 2020? Oh, it's the biggest. I think I said the other night, it still haunts me to this day, seeing Italy lift that at Wembley. Um, you know, back-to-back -back finals, that's history in itself. First time on foreign soil, so now a bit of history, but the real history we, that we want is, is to lift that trophy. And uh, I can assure you now, we're going to give it absolutely everything and there's going to be nothing left in that changing room come Sunday when we uh, go out and perform. What does the experience count for three years ago? The the cruelty, in a way, of the way it was lost. Yeah, massive. I think we was probably a bit naive in that final. Um, I think we've learned a lot since then. I think as individuals, we've also all come on a lot since then as football players, played in more matches, high, high, high more experienced games. Um, a lot of boys that are at clubs who are playing at uh, clubs and playing with managers who are always demanding to take the ball. So in finals like that, you're going to have to take the ball under pressure. You're going to have to take this thing out of the game. Um, but like I said, it's, it's a game, two teams going out there, 22 players, and um, yeah, you know, made the best, made best team win. Bukayo Saka said, win and we change lives. Do you agree? Yeah, I think we do more than change lives, to be honest with you. I think it's, uh, it's a whole level of something that you'll never, ex well, I don't think you'll ever be able to experience unless you win something with England again. Obviously, we're all so itching to, to lift that trophy and feel that moment um, with ourselves, the manager families, the nation who've been behind us so much. Um, so look, still, still a long way to go. We can't talk too much into existence, but you know, we can have that little bit of fire in our belly that we want that. Fire, courage, desire. Yeah, I think, I think they're three massive words. I think, you know, like I said, back-to-back -back finals, that's, that's just, that in itself is, is enough for now for us to go out there and just think, what have we got to lose? You know, what have we got to lose? You know, we're all here. We only get one career. You never want to look back and think, I wish I'd have just done that or wish I'd have, you know, give a little bit more. You know, I feel like now's the time that we, we give it everything and we, we show that, you know, we are, we are England.